Denise Manning and I work here at the Tarpon Springs Library. Thanks for joining us this afternoon as I show you our April DIY craft, a yarn cactus. Stop by the library for your DIY kit to take home. Inside the kit, you'll find a few things. First, we wrapped a little clay pot in a paper towel for a little padding. So here you have a clay pot and you have three index cards. One is three inches high, one is two inches, and one is one inch. You also have three little balls of yarn, green, brown, and a little bit of pink. To make our yarn cactus, first of all, decorate the pot any way you wish. I, I took a black Sharpie and just made some little decorative squiggles, but um, you can paint it, you can do whatever you wish. Now to make the yarn cactus, it is basically three pom-poms put together with a little old, good old Elmer's. And I'm gonna show you how to make pom-poms. The only thing you need from home is some Elmer's, a scissors, and some newspaper because as we're cutting this yarn you will have lots of little fibers lots of little linties and if you have some paper down that you can throw away or even a bath towel that you can shake out um, it'll be less vacuuming when you're done so to start with we are going to make um, actually the dirt for our, our cactus and it's starting with the dirt is a good place to start because this is our practice pom-pom. If this one isn't ex exactly perfect, it's okay. It's really just holding the cactus up. So with the brown yarn, you wanna use your middle-sized index card, which is two inches. And what we're gonna do is each of the yarn balls come two strands together. So you're gonna wrap both strands. That will save a little time. So just simply wrap it around the card, around the index card. <clears throat> Now this doesn't have to be perfect by any means, but you're just wrapping along like this, fairly even, and then when you get oops, about that far, go over again. The idea with being fairly even as you're wrapping is the idea is you don't want it all to most of your wrapping to be in the middle um, because then your pom-pom won't be even. Stop when you have about 12 inches and then cut your yarn. Now if you have this loose little end from where you started it's okay it'll, it'll all fold in. So now you have fairly even two inches wrapped like so. So then you very carefully slide your index card out so then you have a yarn slinky so to speak take one of these tails that you cut and very carefully put your yarn slinky on top of it and what we're gonna do is tie it now this takes a little bit of finagling so that you're tying it fairly in the middle now I did learn if you tie tie it around, loop it around twice. When you pull tight, you won't need an extra finger to hold it while you double knot it. So single knot and you wanna pull tightly, but this is where you wanna pull as tightly as possible, but you don't wanna break the yarn. So if you break the yarn, you have a spare. So it'll be okay. But you still have to put your finger there Tie a double knot. And pull it as tightly as you can. Now you have something that looks like this. Now hold on to these ends you just tied. That'll help you hold, have it start in the same place anyway. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut each of these loops that you created by wrapping it around the index card. You want to kind of pull snugly so you're cutting your strings about the same length. And then go ahead and do the other side. Pulling kind of snugly so 
you're cutting them about the same length. If you tie it fairly in the middle, your pom-pom will be fairly even, but as you can see, my pom-pom is not perfectly even, but that'll be okay. So what we're gonna do is just cut the super extra long ones. And again on the bottom, and now you can cut, of course, the two that you tied. So you really actually get a pom-pom. And this pom-pom, like I said, is really your practice pom-pom. It does not need to be perfect because it's just the dirt holding up your cactus. Now we're going to work on our cactus pom-pom. And for this, you want the three inch card, the largest card. And once again, you kind of hold on to the end and start wrapping gently because you want to take advantage of the full width of three inches. Okay, once again, when you have about 12 inches, go ahead and cut it. Probably easier to lay one of your strings out first and then carefully pull your slinky off the card. There you are. You want it to be as in the middle as possible. So now we're going to, once again, cut our loops. Now this pom-pom <laughs> requires a little bit of work and I'm kind of laughing because um, what you're doing here is you're pruning, you will be pruning your pom-pom to look like a cactus. I think I got all my loops. And this pom-pom's bigger, like I said, each hard size is, is making a different size pom-pom. So now this one's about three inches. And I'm still keeping these because this is going to be the bottom of my cactus. So if I hold on this to the till the end, I will um, not lose sight of what's the top and what's the bottom. See my how my cactus has a little bit of growth here? We want that same thing. So somewhere near the top, but not exactly the top, kind of off to the side a little bit, Grab a few strands, almost like it's gonna be like a little tuft, and that'll be your little growth out of the top of your cactus. And I just grabbed a few strands like so, and then I'm using that second piece of green yarn to tie around my strand, like almost make a little bundle here of, of these strands, and then we'll leave these, we won't trim these till the very end. So I'm just quickly dying, tying a double knot around these strands. So now I have this funny little tuft and I'll cut these long strings. Okay, so now back to, this is the bottom of our cactus where we're holding on. And now we have this funny little tuft up here. So now we are going to start pruning this pom-pom to look like a cactus. So let's see how we do. Now, the idea that I did with this cactus was, I looked at a picture of a cactus and I saw that oftentimes they're, they're kind of flatter this way and thinner up here. So I started trimming. And this is where you're gonna be glad to put newspaper down or even a bath towel, like I said, that you can shake outside. Don't cut that little tuft that you created. We'll cut him at the end. And then trim around the bottom too. Still all the while holding on to these two strands. A little tuft, and so it kind of looks like a growth. I want to cut it all one length. So I'm gathering up these large, long strands that I had tied together. I'm gonna cut them straight across. I think that'll do it. So when you get your cactus where you're pleased with it, then you can cut your end. Now, with a good dollop of Elmer's in the middle of your dirt, your round pom-pom that you've stuffed into your little pot, 
right in the center of it, make a good little pile of Elmer's. Like so. Then stick your cactus on it and it will start drawing while you make your little flower pom-pom. Okay, now we're gonna make our tiny little pom-pom for the top, which is the cactus flower. And starting with your pink yarn and your one inch index card, we're going to wrap again, just as we did with the others, gently and evenly until you have a few inches looks like eight or ten here and then trim. Now take one of your strands and lay it down and then we're going to gently pull our little yarn slinky off the card and this is where it gets a little tricky. You want to tie, tie it in the middle evenly as possible. If you go around twice, it'll be a little easier when you pull it snugly. And then just pull it carefully together, trying to get, get your ed ends in. So you're pulling the slinky together in the middle. And again, tight. Now you have a little bitty pom-pom. Didn't get it exactly in the middle, so now as it's, after it's tied, I'm nudging it a little bit. Again, you're gonna hold on to your ends and cut your loops. Now this pom-pom you want to make as small as possible, but you don't wanna cut the middle the middle tie or your pom-pom will totally fall apart. I know this because I did it. Now you can cut your ends and then decide, because you're going to glue it onto your cactus, decide what your best side is that you want to show. And now you have your cactus on its little pot of dirt and Kind of burrow a little hole into the yarn here where you want to place your flower. Once again, a good little dollop of Elmer's. Like so. And then place your little cactus flower. and hold it for just a second. Let the Elmer's do its work. While it's drying a little bit, you can make any other little trims. And now you have a pretty little yarn cactus with a flower. I hope you enjoyed April's DIY craft and please join us when we have a new craft for you in May.